It may have seemed like one of those bad horror films that you watch late at night on television, but this was no movie. Dust invaded Pueblo as we went through the afternoon. This one taken by our Facebook friend Douglas Beach this afternoon as he was looking back towards downtown Pueblo. He also took that picture that we showed you earlier on, Abriendo Avenue and along I-25 where he could not even see downtown even though he's pretty close to it at that point. Winds are still gusty in Pueblo at this hour. At Pueblo West with our Parkview Medical Center camera, we have winds out of the west-southwest at 20 miles per hour. Temperature 63 degrees. You see that dust being kicked up by those winds that are howling this evening in the Pueblo area. Highway 24 in Peterson Road with our mug -a bug camera. Winds out of the west-southwest at a lighter clip than they are in Pueblo, but still the temperature is on the mild side at 51 degrees. As we look at what's happening now in in terms of the wind gusts, we showed you the wind speeds earlier on. These are the gusts that we've seen over the last hour. 49 miles per hour at Colorado Springs, 46 miles per hour at Pueblo. No wonder the dust is being kicked up at Pueblo West at this hour. 48 miles per hour in Alamosa, 37 at Salada. You get the picture. That's a very windy late Sunday evening for us around southern Colorado. That's why we have red flag warnings from 11 o'clock tomorrow morning until 7 o'clock tomorrow evening because the winds are going to stay up throughout much of the day tomorrow. So long I 25 and eastward towards the Kansas line, southward from the Springs down to Trinidad into the New Mexico line, and west of I-25 as you head over towards Canyon City and back into the big tops in Canyon between Canyon City and Salida down towards the Royal Gorge. We're going to continue to see very rough conditions in terms of the fire danger. High winds are going to combine with humidity between 5 and 15 percent to produce those red flag warnings. That's why the Weather Service Office has issued them. Burning, of course, not advised, banned, or at least discouraged over the next day or so. Wind speeds, as we take a look at our RPM model, notice they're in the 20 mile per hour neighborhood, not only tonight, but also as we go through our morning commute tomorrow, it's going to make our commute a rough one. And that'll last all the way into our Monday afternoon. You see those wind speeds continue to be above 20 miles per hour, not only for tomorrow in the early afternoon, but all the way through our Monday evening into our Tuesday as well. 55 is the high in the springs tomorrow, 60 in Pueblo. Considering that it was near 70, and above 70 in the two cities today, it's going to be quite the shock to the system to see temperatures that much cooler combined all that wind that we were talking about. Skyscan satellite and radar shows us the other issue for us this evening. You notice that that precipitation in the form of snow over towards the Eisenhower Tunnel points westward back towards Grand Junction is going to continue to push its way to the east. So if your travel plans take you up towards Denver, there will be a rough go in terms of north of Denver, especially along I-25 as you head up towards Fort Collins and eventually into southern Wyoming. Skycast is showing us that snow very nicely and it's going to continue at least over the next several hours before it begins to fade away late tonight, early tomorrow morning. Then by Monday evening, we see a return engagement to the snow over towards the Continental Divide at points northwestward of Salida and as you head over towards Buena Vista. Lows tonight are going to be sitting in the mid to upper 30s in the springs and in Pueblo, 36 and 38 respectively. It's mid to upper 30s in the plains, teens and 20s as you head up into the mountains. Seven day forecast then for the springs. High temperatures are going to stay in the middle 50s at first, then drop off into the upper 40s and lower 50s as another storm system comes towards the area from the southwest. The big question is if it's where is it going to produce the snow and how much snow will it produce? Something that Matt, Marty, and Rachel will be tracking over the next couple of days. Right now, it appears the big winner is going to be up towards the Palmer Divide, but the miles are showing some real inconsistencies. Pueblo seven day forecast high temperatures, upper 40s and lower 50s. A chance for rain and snow for you as well. Then readings rebound into the, into the upper 50s and lower 60s by the weekend. Canyon City, your seven day forecast high temperatures, upper 40s or lower 50s. A good chance for rain and snow on Wednesday and Thursday for you also. Same thing is true in Teller County. Your high temperatures after sitting in the mid to upper 40s are going to drop off into the lower to middle 40s throughout the middle portion of seven-day forecast. Since there was to be some upper 30s around as well, then the readings rebound to the middle 40s. Okay.